the best and brightest minds make up NASA. Back when the agency first started, few women were part of the workforce, much less at the helm of important roles. And it wasn't until three years ago when NASA named the first female launch director. And News 6 at Night's Carolina Cardona sits down with Charlie Blackwell Thompson to talk about her mission and who was pivotal in guiding her to success. More than 30 years ago, Charlie Blackwell Thompson walked into this room. This is firing room one at Kennedy Space Center. At the time, she was a senior at Clemson University, and she was applying for a job here. Today, she is the launch director for this same room and will be at the helm of Artemis One. It is not lost on me when I walk in this room. Um, I am still struck with that same feeling, that, that same calling that I had as a young woman to be a part of NASA's effort, to be a part of NASA's launch team. Her desire landed her the job, working her way up through different roles that prepared her for her biggest role yet, launch director. Having been given the opportunity to lead this team and lead the planning, it was just an unbelievable um, experience and unbelievable opportunity. In 2016, Charlie was offered the job by NASA's Kennedy Space Center director, Robert Cabana, and became the first woman in the history of NASA to hold that position. I answered the phone and he provided me the offer and told me that I had been selected for the job. And I remember I stopped and I said, can you repeat that? She'll lead the countdown when Artemis missions propel the next American astronauts to the moon, scheduled for 2024. And we are testing out launch capabilities today. We're also doing what we call launch team simulations. Those have already started months ago. And the team that's kind of working the problems behind the curtain, they surprise us with different problem scenarios. A native from a small South Carolina town, as a young girl, Charlie never thought about engineering as a career. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do when I was growing up. Decades later, she continues to credit a high school teacher who encouraged her to look into engineering. I remember when talking to him about that, I said, well, you know, what, what would I do as an engineer? And his response was, well, what couldn't you do? And at the time, that wasn't terribly helpful. But I look back now and I think how wise he was. She says one of her biggest challenges was juggling work and family life. Learning to balance in a time where we didn't have the family-friendly policies that we have today, that was a tough balance for me was, you know, you love your children, you love your family, you love your job and, and it's trying to figure out how can I be be great at both of these things that mean so much to me. But she never felt it was impossible. My message to young folks is that if you can dream it, you can do it. You have to work for it. It has to come with hard work. But there is no limit. The possibilities are boundless. Carolina Cardona, News 6 at 9. Wow. What an inspiration. What yes. does she do? I, I kept getting goosebumps every time she talked. I was like, wow. I know. I love her talking about how can you love your family and you mm -hmm. love your job. How can you be great at both? I know that's something mm -hmm. that we all talk about and we mm -hmm. all strive for. So that's inspiring to hear. Yeah.